Lego 2064 here, back with another review. And today I'm going to review Lego Harry Potter, Harry's Journey to Hogwarts. This is set 30407, has 40 pieces, and retails for about 4 5 dollars. I've seen some places sell it for 6 but uh, where I was, it was only 4 So yeah, let's get into this. So here's the Harry Potter minifigure. Now this does come in the Great Hall, I'm positive of, and I'm pretty sure it might come in another set. Uh, but uh, I just want to compare him really quick to the one in the minifigure series and the one from Aragog's Lair. And you can see, uh, this one that I said the scar didn't quite line up as much as this one. I don't know, it kind of lines up a little more. So maybe this one was just a little off printed. It has the same uh, back face this one. Uh, here I'll show you anyway. This one doesn't have a back face. Uh, but yeah, it's a good inclusion. I mean, you wouldn't want them to include something rare, you know, of course. I'm just saying, you wouldn't want uh, like a different character than Harry, I guess. And it's always great to get that new molded hair piece. And of course this wand. I know you can take out of one of the there was, uh, separators. Uh, so yeah, that's Harry. Now onto the builds. So here's this little luggage cart for Harry for his stuff and all that. I'm pretty sure there's a vehicle that was in the Whomping Willow. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure in the Express set, the train. Sorry, I can't think of what it's called. Um, oh yeah, Hogwarts Express, sorry. But there's one of these that's similar, uh, actually two of these. One is like a food cart one. But on this one, there's this nice little cauldron piece, which I actually bought the set for. It's in this kind of um, uh, gunmetal gray. You can take that out, put some sparks in it or something. Uh, also, I needed another black suitcase. This is the old style. But the one I, uh, like, currently have. I don't know what's in it. But, here. It's broken. This one is actually, like, you know, can bend. And I also stuck a sticker on my old one. So it's nice to have a backup. And then there's this basic book, no printing, but there's this nice little piece in here. I'm pretty sure that comes in a few other sets, but still, it's like a, a spell, I guess. I hope I put it right, because on the packaging, it's kind of hard to tell, because it looks like it's up. But this is how they tell you to put it in the instructions, so you can tell me off for that. But yeah, it looks like some kind of twirl and all that. And it does all kind of just fit in very nicely. Uh, and my only real uh, criticism of it is it doesn't use real wheels. Uh, I don't know. It could have been. Maybe they could have made a new wheel piece because it's the same in the Hogwarts Express. I don't know. That's just my only complaint. So now onto the other build. Here's Hedwig's cage. Uh, Hedwig is the owl. And there's this nice little clip on the top, so you could probably attach it somewhere. But if you take a little look, I don't know how to get them out. Sorry. Maybe you could... There. You could just pull off the top. There. Now you got the cage. And you can put them in Harry's hand, if you want. He has some nice uh, printing all around. I, I don't know if he's the same as the minifigure series... Or any of those sets. But I'm pretty sure he's the same in all of those. Uh, and then for the cage. There's just this nice kind of design. And you can't actually get him out. Without removing the top. So I guess you could take that how you want it. Oh shoot. Uh, sorry. I had to get him. <laughs> but you could take that how you want to. Uh, uh, you have to take off the top. Could be a bad thing. Could be a good thing. Whatever. But yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for the builds. 
Now onto the instructions bag and then the final verdict. So here are the instructions. You can see just a basic. Haven't seen a Harry Potter one for this yet. I don't know if they have one. But they actually do have ads, which I'm pretty sure they ditched ads in regular poly bags. You can see here it's this. It's different than the one in the Aragog's instructions because it just has Harry Potter. Uh, here's like the Whomping Willow, the Aragog set, and then the Great Hall. The Whomping Willow like build castle part is connected. So yeah, that's it for the instructions. Yeah, yeah now onto the bag. So it just has the express in the background. Looks like he's just about to take the train because it is a journey to Hogwarts. Um, but it has the same uh, border, no uh, character pictures. Interesting. And actually, this kind of threw me off because usually the um, kids go free ticket is down here at the bottom. I guess they moved it up to the top. We'll have to see um, if that sticks or if it's just this poly bag. But yeah, that's. It for the bag. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like the best poly bag uh, that's out right now. Because you do get a minifigure, you do, do get the owl, a lot of nice pieces, the book, the suitcase, even this kind of cauldron, which does come in some other sets. Still, it's not the most common. And for the build, I'm pretty sure that there are some carts similar to this. But I'm pretty sure this one's unique. So you could put it in with your other sets. Um, and then this cage here. It's a great build. So I'm pretty sure that uh, there's no way they could have made this better. Maybe they could have put in a different version of Harry Potter. But that's just nitpicking. My only real criticism is the wheels on this. Are not actual like wheels. It just slides. So that's pretty much it. I give it an A, not an A+, plus, just for the wheels and the minifigure a little bit. But still, it's pretty good for what you get. That's why I give it an A. So yeah, Nico2064, signing off.